Hey guys, thanks for watching this video on how to configure lockdown mode on ESXi host. What is lockdown mode? A lockdown mode is used to increase the security of ESXi host. In lockdown mode, operations must be performed through vCenter server by default. Starting with vSphere 6.0, there is normal lockdown mode and strict lockdown mode, which offers a different degrees of lockdown. In normal lockdown mode, the DCUI service is not stopped if the connection to vCenter server is lost and the vSphere web client is no longer available, privileged accounts can log in into ESXi host DCUI console and exit lockdown mode. In strict lockdown mode, the DCUI service is also stopped if the connection to vCenter server is lost and the vSphere web client is no longer available, the ESXi host becomes unavailable unless the ESXi shell and SSH services are enabled and exception user lists are defined. What we will learn in this lab? In this lab, we will be discussing about enabling normal lockdown mode and validating it. We will also be discussing disabling normal lockdown mode and validating it. And in last, we will be discussing about how do we enable a strict lockdown mode and how do we validate it. So let's get started. As you could see that we are logged into our vCenter server SAVCSA01. Now let's go and browse our vCenter inventory. Within that vCenter server, as you could see that we have a data center created as SA data center. Let's go and browse our SA data center. And within that data center, as you could see that we have a SA cluster created. Let, let's go and browse our cluster inventory. And within that cluster, as you could see that we have a three, three node ESXi cluster, SA ESXi 01, 02, and 03. Now for enabling and disabling lockdown mode, we would be referring SA ESXi 01. So click on SA ESXi 01. Click on configure, scroll down, click on security profile, and that's where you could see a lockdown mode. So by default, as you could see that a lockdown mode is configured. Let's go and validate it. What does that mean? So as we discussed, when lockdown mode is configured as disabled, it means a user would be able to access or manage ESXi host through host client as well as through DCUI console. So let's go and access our SA ESXi01 host client. So as you could see that this is my SA ESXi01 host and this is the host client. So let's try to log in through a username root and the password of root user. Click on login and as you could see that we are able to successfully log in to our ESXi host using host client. So that proves that we can we can manage our ESXi host through host client. Now let's click on the DCUI. So as you could see that this is the DCUI console of our ESXi host. Now press F2 key. And as you could see that it prompt for root username password. So let's give our root password. And here we go. So we are able to successfully log in that ESXi host through DCUI console as well. Now let's go and try to configure lockdown mode. But before that, let's log out from this DCUI console as well as from the host client. Now let's go and enable the DCUI. Uh, let's go and enable a lockdown mode. So click here, click on the edit. And there we see that we have a two options, normal lockdown mode and strict lockdown mode. So let's click on the normal lockdown mode. Click on OK. And as you could see that we have enabled lockdown mode on our ESXi host SA ESXi01. And the mode of lockdown mode is normal. Let's go and validate it. So this is our ESXi host host client. Now let's try to log in first through the host client. So let's give a username as root. Username password of our root user and as you could see that 
it throws the error message saying that permission to perform this operation was denied, which means now you are not able to access your ESXi host through host client because we have configured lockdown mode. Now let's go and try to validate. Can we log in to the same ESXi host using DC UI console with the same user? Now press F2. It prompt for the password of root user. Let's provide the password. And now as you could see that we are able to log in through DC UI console. That's what normal lockdown is all about. So let's log out from here. And now let's go and configure lockdown mode as strict. Now, as you could see that now we have enabled lockdown mode or we have configured lockdown mode in strict mode. So in strict mode means it won't be allowing user neither through host client nor through DC UI console. So let's go and validate that. So this is our ESXi host, host client. Let me refresh this console. Let's log in with the root user through our host client. Click on login. And as expected, it has thrown the error message saying that you don't have permission to perform this operation. So it is not allowing us to log in through our ESXi host using host client. Now click on the DCUI console. Let's try to log in through the DCUI console. Press F2 keys. And now as you could clearly see that with this strict lockdown mode, it doesn't even allow accessing ESXi host through a DCUI console. And it, the error message is very uh, clear that uh, authentication denied. Direct console access has been disabled by the administrator for SA ESXi01 host. So that pretty much uh, talks about a lockdown mode. In this lab, we have discussed about what is lockdown mode, what is the meaning of disabling lockdown mode and enabling lockdown mode into normal mode and a strict mode. Now, just to conclude that, always remember when your lockdown mode is configured in normal mode, you will, you will have access to DCUI console, but you cannot access or manage that host through host client. But when you configure your ESXi host into a strict lockdown mode, you cannot access or manage your ESXi host neither through host client or nor through DCUI console. So that's conclude our video on configuring lockdown mode on ESXi host. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching it.